Step four is attaching your pergola to your house. At this point, we've already mounted our posts, cut them to height, and we know the desired top of our beam. That measurement's really important because the top of our beam is gonna be the same measurement as the bottom of our rafter. Okay, now attaching to a house, there is a little bit of nuance involved in that you want to make sure you get into something structural on your house. Okay, we include a trim board with each one of our kits. If you have a two by six rafter, there's a one by 10 piece of AZEC trim. If your kit has a two by eight rafter, there's a one by 12 piece of AZEC trim. This board is not structural. It is really look, nice looking, but it will not hold your pergola in a heavy snow load or a heavy storm. We wanna make sure we fasten to something structural inside the house. If you do not know what's structural inside your house, you need to consult a professional, and you may need to put up a ledger plate in addition to this piece, like a structural two by 10 or two by 12, to make sure that the pergola is gonna bear um, proper snow and wind loads. So assuming you have that done, you're gonna to wanna to use your rafter hangers. We've got a short little cut stub of rafter here. And the rafter hanger just gets mounted to your plate at the appropriate height, okay? We do not include the screws to attach the hanger to the house in the kit. Reason being is, I, again, I don't know exactly what you're trying to fasten into, whether it's masonry or conventional framing. But there's four holes here, so you wanna get a nice heavy duty screw, um, excuse me, eight holes, and fasten this at the appropriate top of beam equals bottom of rafter to your plate, okay? Once that's installed, you can hang your rafters. Now the key to making sure the rafters are installed right is that the aluminum is flush with the back of your rafter, okay? If the aluminum's pushed away inside there, you go through to screw it, you're only gonna get into the vinyl, and it's not gonna be near as sturdy. So you wanna make sure the aluminum's all the way flush, and this piece should just slide in like that, and then you're gonna fasten in through the side of the hanger to the rafter. One of the nice things about our kits, is inside your fastener bag, you just have to find the right bag. It says rafter to rafter hanger. And there's a stainless steel screw that goes along with your stainless steel rafter hanger. And same size, it's a 3 8 Put that in there. And Get it nice and tight. I'm gonna repeat that for all the holes on each side. Now you do notice I put this little cut out here on the bottom side of the rafter. And that's really important because when you go to put your trim ring on your rafter, there's a little tab down here. And that tab lines up with a little cutout in the hanger. Okay, if you fit that on improperly, you can't get your rafter to slide back and look real pretty like that. So the goal is, even though we've got all this heavy duty hardware to make your pergola real sturdy, you don't see any of it. So all things being completed, you'll have your rafters laid out and hung on your trim board and they'll look like that. So if you have any questions regarding your rafter spacing, that'll all be in your CAD drawing with your instructions. So.